Come on. Come on. Don't don't be shy. Come on. We're getting ready to have a little talk. Sit down. Have a seat. I'm your uh, brother. I call myself the Black Dragon. And welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. I would like to just give my little two cents upon this little topic. And the topic that I've chosen is a uh, news story reported and it's belated. It's old, but I want to just give my little, like I said, my little two cents about a comment that this uh, radio fella, what do they call them? Radio personality. Rush Limbaugh, the fat guy, the one who's a dope fiend. <laughs> you notice when people do their dirt, they don't like to bring things up. But I have not forgotten, Rush Limbaugh, you are a dope fiend. Maybe you are in remission, but I'm pretty sure you still want some of that Oxycontin. Is that what it's called? Oxy, cotton, cotton, or whatever it is. But that's not no shock, Rush Limbaugh, because you live in a nation with a great population that are dope fiends. Either the American people are dope fiends, they get high from illegal drugs, or they get high, or they need legal drugs. You need a drug to go to sleep. You need a drug to wake up. You need a drug to have sex. You need a drug not to have sex. You need a drug, of course, for your different sicknesses. Drugs, 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 drugs. You probably go to the average American family and open up the medicine cabinet. All kinds of stuff is in there. And why do we have drugs? What is a drug used for? Rush Limbaugh, a drug is used because you are sick. That's why. So when you have a craving for cocaine, when you have a craving for heroin, if you have a craving for Oxycontin or meth or any drug, it's because you are sick. Well, I, I do it to feel pleasure. I feel I do it to get high. Like I said, you do it because you are sick. You are sick. No more, no less. But because you are not physically sick, mentally sick, then these drugs that affect the physical begin to take you out. Because that's what they were meant for. As far as I know, there is no drug that can do anything for a so-called mental illness, especially the so-called mental illnesses that we have, and it's not a mental illness. What you have is corruption of the mind. In religion, they say that you are you have been possessed by the devil. So, Mr. Rush Limbaugh, you are a dolphin. So why are you trying to judge others? And paint others in a bad light. And I'm pretty sure you messed up in many other ways also, sir. I just want to remind you that you messed up yourself. And before I finish these few minutes, a whole lot of folks going to know that they are also messed up. But the beautiful thing about knowing that you messed up is that you seek those things which will help you heal. That will help you get over your sickness. Get over this addiction to your drugs. Not look and seek sickness. But to. Like a religious say. Be gone devil. Get beneath me Satan. What's that word? What's that quote? <laughs> you tell Satan to stay away from you. That's what you need to really be doing. 
for yourself. But Rich Limbaugh had the nerve, they say, I don't know, but they called this woman, he said, they say he called this woman a slut. All righty then. Now, I don't know this woman. I don't know this lady. I don't know her behaviors. And believe me, I try not to judge nobody because if you judge people, then be ready to be judged yourself. And some of us, we can talk about everybody else's faults, what so-and-so did, what so-and-so is doing. But when it's our turn, we can't handle it. So if I tell you about yourself, believe me, I can handle it. Bring it. Because see, the difference between you and me is if you show me my fault, you show me my error, and it's true, then I'll work to make myself better. But see, y'all like getting high. Y'all like being mentally sick. Y'all like that. So you are upset especially with the truth. Now, this lady that Rush Limbaugh called a slut, I have no idea. I cannot make a determination. I don't know. But I do know this, that in American society, the female, the American women in this nation and around the earth, but I'm going to stick, I'm just going to stay in America. Because I know America. Been here for a long time. In America, many of the women act like sluts. They act like whores. They are drunks and they are dope fiends. They are fornicators and adulterers. They are trained from, from being little girls. The little baby girls they give the little girls plastic surgery. They start the little girls, they don't have no kind of shame. They have little, little tiny short dresses on and little shorty shorts. Half naked little baby girls walking around so they don't have no kind of what religion calls morality. They have no shame. They're supposed to be sexy. The little girls wear heavy makeup already little babies. These are going to grow into the mothers of the, they, into the mothers that produce the future generations of this nation. They have dirty mouths. They sell their bodies from man to man and nowadays to other women. Then many of these women embrace what they call feminism. And there's nothing wrong with a woman wanting to be treated as an equal to a man in relationship to those things they do the same. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you begin to act like a man, when you begin to act like those you complain about, and some of y'all ladies have become butch, you start looking like men. And since you look like a man, then you was not born lesbian. You did not claim lesbian. All of a sudden, now you want to turn to women because you think that you're a man and women, your own sex, become attracted to you and you don't think that you are sick. You don't think you have a problem, but this is normal. Listen, this is normal in America. And in psychiatry, this is how far psychiatry is. As long as a great majority of people do this behavior, you're not mentally ill. So if I, so now if I see pink elephants by myself, then I'm crazy. I'm insane. But if a whole gang of people believe we see pink elephants, then that's normal behavior. That shows you how fraud psychiatry is. There's no such thing as pink elephants unless you paint them yourself. There are no pink elephants. So we embrace homosexuality. We embrace being drunk. 
We embrace being hot. We embrace the violence. And y'all don't think y'all sick. So when Rush Limbaugh call a woman a slut, that's the truth in America. Not maybe this particular woman, but the woman in America has been turned into a slut, a whore, a bitch, all these things. Now, that's not everybody. But it's a whole, it's so much, it's part of society and it's embraced even by the church. Because a lot of these women wear their little slutty dresses in church and they cuss in church and they get drunk in church and the preachers sleep with them in church. Oh, we're going to talk, we, gonna, we have to tell the truth. But now, I want to talk to the man, to the male, to those men who want to make mockery of these women, make mockery of the mothers of their children, the mothers of this nation. Who made them this way? It was the white male, the racist Caucasian man, the male, American male of this society that caused the women to be like this. You done it to them. You made them go this direction because you want to have your fun. So when you have your fun, you need the women to be sluts and whores and prostitutes laying around showing their naked body in Playboy magazine and Hustler and all these other places so you can go to strip clubs. But these men, ah, but these men are fake. They want to have their fun. Then they want to turn around and try to be holy and righteous. Oh, I can't marry a whore. I can't marry a slut. I can't marry these women that the male in this society is the men that made these poor women that way. Exploiting them because they live in an unequal society. So they take advantage of the lust of men to make a living. Then these fake men, and I don't know why they always say all. You know good and well it's not all men. But in this society, these males, they want to have that fun. Then they want to be self-righteous. I need a decent woman to marry. I want a woman who's a virgin. I want a woman who can cook and sew and let me have a family. You would have had a family long time ago if you did not treat those women like whores and bitches and sluts. Y'all so fake. Oh, you're so fake. You make me want to. Woo! Woo! Man, I told somebody I got to try to watch my words. But in this nasty, filthy society, sometimes you need to put a little profaneness on your dialogue to knock the ball out the park. Because filthy words, unrighteous behavior is what these idiots, that's what they know, love, and embrace. And that's what makes it, that's what makes the pure message, the real truth, hurt them even more. Because it comes in a language that they adore. So, next time we judge somebody, we need to look like Michael Jackson say, and I hear people say it all the time about looking at the man in the mirror. But apparently, living in America, in this nasty society, y'all ain't looking in no mirror. Because you still think that y'all goody two-shoes. You think you don't do no wrong. Well, you're going to have a, your feelings hurt over and over again. Because y'all fakes. And you won't get better, this nation won't get better till you make your women better. And how dare you call a woman a slut? How dare you call these women bitches and whores when it's the males that done it to them? Because you the real bitch and whore. You call these women that and you call your mama that. The mothers, because these, whether you like it or not, these are the mothers of your nation. What a fool you are. Jot down your comments. This is your brother, the Black Dragon. This was and is the Reality's Temple on Earth.